filed court documents revealing disturbing details about an alleged rapist in Tecumseh. We first told you about Clifton Davila last week when he was arrested for raping two teenage girls at Knife Point. Today, we learned he's facing a dozen felony charges. News Force Natalie Clydesdale has the story. Well, that's right, and some of those charges include first degree rape, burglary, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, and sexual battery. And we want to warn you of the details in this story are graphic. You don't have any females that live here, right? Because we've had some crazy stuff going on this weekend. No. You heard no, about what happened this I've weekend? Been single for did you, you heard about what happened this weekend, right? No, what happened? That's Clifton Davila, seemingly clueless about a string of rapes that terrorized the city of Tecumseh in October. Are they okay? But court documents filed just yesterday suggest otherwise. You know, it, it, it does concern me. The records reveal at about 2 a.m. on October 23rd, yeah. police rushed to a home after a 16 year old said a man we now know was allegedly Davila came into her back door wearing a gator mask and put a knife to her throat, taking her to her bedroom. And sexually assaulted inside the home. The teen tried calling for help, but Davila, quote, said he would kill her if she did not be quiet and do what he wanted her to do, according to the documents. Then uh, around 7 a.m. Sunday morning, we receive a second call, uh, same type of scenario. This time, the victim was just 14 years old. The documents show after a frantic multi-day search for a suspect, police finally caught a break when Davila called 911 himself saying he was hiding under his house because of, quote, some things he had done. You called your ass over there? Yeah. He was taken into custody and is currently booked in the Pottawatomie County Jail. And both of our victims have positively identified him as being the suspect. It's not clear if or when Davila will be in court.